Hey guys, I'm Dan Henry and I'm a customer success technical architect here at MuleSoft. In this Friends of Mac video series, I'm going to be talking to you about AnyPoint API Community Manager, which provides a next-gen developer experience to help you build and grow API ecosystems. In this three-part demonstration, I'll be guiding you through how to customize your API community. Today, in part two, I'm going to provide a demonstration on how to customize your login and register search and community news experiences. So in the previous demonstration, we went through and created a home page. Now we're going to go through the login and the search results page. So as a reference, you can see these come off of the home page. So we'll start with the login register. Now in the Experience Builder, we can click this button here and this is going to take us to the page structure. You'll see all the different pages here. Let's head to the login page. So you can see here we have the login form has already been populated as part of the structure and it's actually taken some of the styling as well. You can see the logo and the colors that we chose um, in the previous demonstration. So this looks good, but I'm going to add a border around the login component. So getting a white background is pretty straightforward. We can head back to the theme and go to colors and then just change the background color here. So we have the background color for the actual component, but also the card background color, which we can adjust. So I'm just gonna make it slightly more opaque. And there we go. Something you might find is if you've chosen a logo which is the same color as that card background, it might not show up. So let me show an example. I'm gonna upload a white logo. And you'll see that now you can't see it. If I refresh the page, you can also see the white logo on the home page as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to inspect this using Google Chrome and we're going to get the class name. You could also head to MuleSoft Docs to get that information, but we can get it here as well. So we can see it's ACM underscore package login form and login container. So as we did in the previous demonstration, we can click edit CSS under theme and we can add an override. So we're going to change the background color and I'll just put in a, a gray hex color. If you want to find out how to get hex colors, you can actually just type Google, Google hex color or add pick it to the end and there'll be loads of different websites where you can then identify the hex code for the color you want. So I click save and you can see that now this is gray. We can actually see the logo now, but this isn't on brand with out of the box outfitters. So we'll delete this for now. So if we want to get to the register page, this actually falls underneath the login page. And because of this, it has similar branding as well. So in the self-register component, we could add extra fields if you wanted to ask the guest to provide more information. And we can even ask them to create their own password here as well. If you don't select that, they will create the password once they have activated their profile. So now that we've created the login and register pages, Let's have a look at the search results page, which is gonna have the top navigational menu, search results component, and the footer. So we'll go to the Experience Builder again and click on the page structure and navigate to search results. 
Now you'll notice that the header and the footer that we configured in the home page hasn't come through. That's normal and expected. We just need to modify these here. So I can again edit this markup and rename this 2021 Outer Box Outfitters. Next, I'm going to update this compact header. So I'll change the image to our hero image. And I could, for example, decide to change the image overlay color to completely transparent. So I can still see the navigational menu this way. But I think I'm going to change the image position to be center so we can see more of the mountains in the header. That does require me to actually add a bit more of an overlay color just so to make sure we can actually see the menu items. I'm going to add search to this menu, being as we don't have the big search that was on the landing page. And now let's have a look at the central component. So I'm going to change the page properties and the layout, and I'm going to use a two one ratio columns so that I can add some news articles on the right hand side. And this might be just a way to encourage people to look at the latest updates. In the ACM search result component, we can add a search input as well, but being as we have it on the menu, I'm not going to add it here. Next, I'm going to get the headline component to put in the sidebar. And they're going to add a CMS collection as well. So I'll whiz through the configuration of this. For more guidance on how to configure the CMS collection, watch our previous video where we went through the CMS collection configuration on the landing page. You also have this view more items button or you can click view to go to this news article. So I'll publish that. So we'll head back to the home page and we'll do a search. I'll type in product. And there we go. We get our search results and you can see that news article on the right hand side as well. Now we're going to move on to the news and announcements and the news announcements detail. So we'll go back to the experience builder and we'll head to the news page. Now we did go through configuration of the CMS collection in the first demonstration, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this bit. Now at the bottom here, I'm going to add a contact, support and ask button set as a call to action for community members. So now let's publish this. Head to news. And we can see that all laid out now. Now you'll see this hyphenation on this heading, which doesn't look great. So let's look at how we can fix that. So the reason for this is that the headline heading tag is using paragraph. So if I change this to heading one, for example, this is now going to remove hyphenation. And that looks much better. Now let's look at updating the news details page. So if I click on this now, nothing's going to appear because we haven't configured this page yet. So if I head to experience builder and in content, I click news detail. This is using the flexible layout. So you'll actually see a column like this where you can add more rows above and below. 
and I can change the distribution of these columns as well. Let's delete this top one. So for this one, I'm gonna get the CMS single item detail and drag it in and I'll make some changes. Add a headline, subheading as the excerpt. Featured image will be the banner image and then the feature content body will be the body. I can also change the image height if I want, but I'm gonna keep it quite big because it looks a bit better that way. And even the image width as well. You can also adjust the heading, for example, if you wanted to make it small or medium. But let's keep that large and make it bold as well, just to be more impactful. I'm gonna make the subheading italic. So click publish. And now when we head to that page, it looks much better. Thanks again for watching this Friends of Max demonstration. Join us in part three, where I'll provide a demonstration on how to customize your API and forum experiences. I look forward to seeing you again soon.